Neil, this is Houston, radio check over. Houston, loud and clear. The uh, surface is fine and powdery. Hopefully no trouble to uh, walk around. I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, this is Houston, we're copying. That's one small step for man. One Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. There seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected, uh, perhaps easier than the simulations of 16 that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. The surgeon says the crew is doing well. Data is good, crew is doing well. Uh, Roger, Neil, we're reading you loud and clear. Let's see you getting some pictures and uh, the contingency sample. 35 and a half minutes of PLSS time expended now. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. Uh, do you copy about the contingency sample over? Very interesting. It's a very soft surface, but it appears to be a very cohesive material of the, of the same sort. Try to get a rock in here. Okay, the uh, contingency sample is uh, down. Say again, please, Buzz. You're cutting out. I say that the rocks are rather slippery. Roger. They'll uh, tend to slide over it rather easily. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a start beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Magnificent sight out here. Magnificent desolation. Watch at the edge of that crater. Is yeah, that's soft. real soft there, isn't it? So-called kangaroo hop. Lack of gravity force here. 45 minutes PLSS time expended. Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find a 
purple rock? Yep. Very small, sparkly, uh, I would uh, make a first guess that some sort of biotype will be that to the uh, further analysis. Didn't know you could throw something like that. really throw things a long way up here. Life support consumable still looking good. Neil Armstrong's been on the lunar surface now almost 45 minutes. Heart rates on both crewmen averaging uh, between 90 and 100. The flight surgeon reports they're uh, right on the predicted number of the uh, BTU uh, units expended in energy of work. And he thinks they're in great shape. How's the bulk sample coming, Neil? Bulk sample is 15 seals. And we got about, uh, I'd say, 20 pounds of uh, carefully selected, if not documented, samples. Uh -huh. Houston, Roger, well done, out. Transferring the sample containers into the limb cabin now. Neil Armstrong uh, getting ready to move the TV camera now out to its panorama position. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. The field of view is okay. We'd like you to aim it a little bit more to the right. Over. Okay. Uh, a little bit too much to the right. Can you bring it back left about uh, four or five degrees? Okay, that looks good, Neil. Tell me if you got a picture, Houston. Well, we've got a beautiful picture, Neil. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Could we get both of you on the camera for a minute, please? Uh, Neil and Buzz. Uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. Uh, I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure they too join with America in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this Earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done and one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but and of peace of all nations and with interest and a curiosity and and with the vision for the future. The uh, honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much, and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Look forward to that very much, sir. Neil's been on the surface an hour now. Guidance reports both navigation systems on Eagle are looking good. All right.
26, 36 feet per second up. Five, a pitch over. Very smooth. Balance couple off. Put that to a thousand. 170 up, beautiful. 14 times. Then a foot per second again, I to ping. first and then the vertical velocity is now 1424 feet per second vertical uh, velocity 187 vertical velocity you go Houston uh, your go at three minutes everything's looking good you go Houston uh, you're still looking mighty fine Faster boost in your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my stupid ship is very. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 careful! <laughs> what are you doing? We were still in the air. <laughs> I misclicked. <laughs> <laughs> That was not the break, that was <laughs> something else. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna add bloopers at the end. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the rocks! <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy. What the heck? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, it flies really good. Yeah. I didn't expect it to see so smooth. Right. That was crazy. Oh, it just disappeared. But maybe it'll come back. It's coming. It's coming. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those shots we got, Simon, were really amazing. I think <laughs> yeah. in this context, it's really Star Citizen first. 